Mark, welcome to my home. You are back in school because this is another one of our multimeter uh, classes. This is Multimeters 103. Um, this course, this little dinky chunk, small pieces at a time, is demonstrating and showing you, teaching you how to use this multimeter or a multimeter like it to troubleshoot all kinds of problems um, in your trailer, how to use it, um, how, how it works, what it's for, and some of the many features it can do. In Multimeters 101, we learned about how to use this uh, multimeter set to DC volts and to measure DC voltages, um, your battery voltage, uh, your converter voltage, that kind of thing. In Multimeters 102, we taught you how to use this to measure continuity, basically where fuses burned out, um, if the fuses are good or bad, that kind of business, uh, testing continuity. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to teach you how to use this multimeter and the battery function that we learned in the uh, first video, your ability to measure voltages to basically test your trailer connection to your tow vehicle. Uh, many of you recognize this. This is a standard seven pin um, plug. This is the side that's on the tow vehicle. It's labeled truck. This is the side that's labeled trailer. This is what connects your trailer to your tow vehicle um, so that it can um, run your tail lights, that it can run your right turn, that it can run your left turn, um, that it can run your trailer brakes. So basically what this does is this, this chart or diagram shows you what all of those pins do. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this multimeter and um, use it to troubleshoot the ends of this um, seven pin connector. At some point in your careers, you're gonna have a problem where Oh, maybe your left turn signal doesn't work. Maybe your right turn signal doesn't work. Maybe your brake lights don't work. Um, you're going to need to be able to tell is the problem in the in the truck or is the problem in the trailer. With this meter, you'll be able to easily isolate that down and really simplify your troubleshooting, not worrying you'll be able to tell that the truck is good or the truck is bad or the trailer is good or the trailer is bad by using this multimeter. Very simple. As a little bonus feature here, a lot of you um, have situations where your truck may not be um, charging your battery while you're driving. Um, that's due to um, what's called the auxiliary 12 volt charging connection. There's also questions out there about, let's say I pull into a Walmart and I need a few hours sleep. Um, do I need to unhook my trailer from my uh, um, my tow vehicle, uh, the, the concern there being that if I run um, if I run a bunch of electronics in my trailer, I could drain the battery in the tow vehicle too. That would be a bad thing. I wouldn't be able to start truck in the morning. So knowing um, using this multimeter, we'll be able to tell number one, that your charging circuit is working. And number two, whether or not your truck, the way yours is wired, will allow you to leave it plugged in or not. We'll get there. So um, what we're gonna do, <clears throat> 
we're going to be measuring voltage. So you remember how that works from the first video. If you haven't seen it, go see it. You should see the first video, second video, and then watch this one. But we are going to take this meter and we're going to flip it to DC volts to about 20 because that's about the voltage we're going to go. We're going to be measuring. We're then going to put the um, the black wire in the common. I'm going to put the red wire in the volts position. Then we're going to turn it on. Well, we're going to take this chart and we're going to go out to the back of my truck and I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this stuff and bring my keys. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are um, out in my shop. This is the business end of my truck. This is your seven pin connector. Um, I've got a little piece of wire here, a little hook, so that we can hook this in the up position so that I don't have to uh, hold that open with one hand. So there we go. Now, you see that the top is keyed just like this is keyed. See, that represents the top, and that represents the top there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to investigate my... Uh, Auxiliary 12 volt charging. This is the wire. It's this one. It's at this location um, This is the wire that basically when I'm driving down the road This is what's charging the battery in my trailer My truck sends out 12 volts on pin number four To my trailer so that it charges the battery Well, the question you might have is well is my bat is my truck wired to do that or not because some are not and if my truck is wired to do that, um, does it turn off when I turn my ignition off? Because wouldn't it be nice if when you pulled into a, uh, a Walmart or something to catch a night's sleep that you didn't have to unhook your trailer or anything? Because if you're some, some, some trucks, in fact, most of them, will disconnect this wire, will remove voltage from that wire when you turn the ignition off. So what that means is, is that your trailer out here, back here, can't discharge the battery in your truck that would be a bad thing if I ran my battery down in my trailer that's one thing but if I run the battery down in my trailer and the battery down in my truck I can't get going in the morning <coughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the meter in this condition to find out number one if this pin is wired right and number two does it turn off when the ignitions off so if you look here, ground is on pin one, and we always, when we're measuring voltage, the black wire always goes on ground. So we're gonna put that on pin one. The red wire is gonna go on the line that we want to test, which is pin four. So pin one and four is what we wanna test. So here we go. I'm gonna put my black lead on pin one, and I'm gonna put my red lead on pin four. Huh, no voltage. Well, my truck is not running. So that's a good thing. What that's basically saying is that when my, par when my engine is off, it's not supplying 12 volts to my trailer. So let's go start that engine, come back here and run that test again. running. We're going to again measure between ground and pin four. Here we go. The black wire is on ground and the red wire is on pin four. Look at that. 14 volts. What that's telling you right now is that my truck is wired correctly and would be charging my trailer battery if my trailer battery were plugged in. Just that simple. So I'm going to shut the engine off and we'll see that, that that battery voltage goes away. Okay, here we are. Engine's back off. We'll get this guy back on pin one and pin four. And look at that. No voltage. Well, that's great. My truck... I know two things about my truck right now. I know that my truck is wired right and it will charge my trailer battery when I'm driving. And I know that if if I park this trailer and shut the engine off, the trailer cannot discharge 
um, my truck battery because it automatically disconnects itself. No voltage is here when this battery is, uh, when this engine is not running. So the next thing we're going to do, at any given time, you may get a complaint that, uh, huh, my, uh, my left hand turn signal doesn't work. Um, when I get to the back of my, you know, I'm all hooked up and I turn my, I'm checking out before I drive away. I check out and I see that the lights, the lights on my trailer, the left hand turn signal doesn't work. Well, that's easy enough to test. If we look at the, the uh, chart, we see that here is pin five is the left turn and stop lights. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to start my engine and I'm going to put my blinker for a left turn. When I come back here and measure between five and one, right? Pin five, which is, which is the left turn stop lights and pin one, which is ground. I should see it going 12, zero, 12, zero as my lights blink. So let's go start the engine. We'll come back here and we'll measure between ground and pin five which is the left turn signal. Let's get at it. Okay, my truck is running. The uh, turn left turn turn signal is on. So let's go ahead and measure between ground, which is pin one, and pin five, and see if it's blinking. There's pin one, and there's pin five. 12, zero, 12, see that? Up, down, up, down, up, down. That tells me that I don't have a tr trouble. It tells me that if if my left turn signal doesn't work on my trailer, the problem is not in my truck because that pin is blinking. So let's go ahead and check the right hand turn signal. Okay, so now in my truck, I've got my turn signal for right hand turn. So if we look at the chart, we see that the right turn stop lights are on pin six. So put the black wire on pin one and measure voltage at pin six. And look at that, same thing. See that meter going up and down? Up and down, up, down, up, down. So I know that my truck wiring is fine for my turn signals. If I'm having problems with the turn signals in my trailer, it's not a problem in my truck. It's a problem out in my trailer. Helps you troubleshoot that very quickly. So you can do all of this. You can measure all of these. Trailer brakes, your backup lights, your right turn stop lights, your 12 volt charging, your tail, your running lights, all of it. You can measure it all. That multimeter is spectacular that way. Now you'll know if you do your homework tonight you want to go out and you want to measure with your engine turned on between pin 1 and pin 4 to see if when your engine's on you're, you have the capability of charging your battery in your trailer then you're going to shut your engine off and you're going to measure between pin 1 and pin 4 to see that that voltage goes away and that'll tell you that when you stop your trailer can't discharge your battery. Hope you enjoyed that. Pretty straightforward. No big deal. Um, have a good day. We'll see you at Multimeters 104. Bye-bye.